When Dennis retired, we decided to move to Weymouth. And out of the blue, Dennis had a fall and broke his hip. From that point, our lives changed. Dennis had a series of falls. He smashed his face in, he broke his nose, he broke his wrist, uh, broke his sternum. Things suddenly went downhill very fast. He was fitted with a pacemaker. He couldn't catch his breath. Okay. While we were going through this, we saw the neurologist. That can't be. No results. Yeah. I think we must have gone through most of the departments in the hospital. Yeah, that's lovely. That's A doesn't talk to B. And there's no conversation between any of the consultants. And it's just like fishing in the dark. Um, At the end of the day, we weren't getting any answers. Three or four years ago, life was quite difficult in terms of managing these patients. People with long-term conditions and as they get older need help from a variety of sources. The teams were completely separate, health teams completely separate from social care teams and that meant that nobody talked to each other, nobody joined up care but also that there was no collaborative working really at all within the system. This one night was feeling particularly weak so I physically had to drag him up the stairs. It took over an hour. Um, dragged him across the landing and by which point I just burst into tears and he just said, please don't cry. I didn't know what to do. I couldn't, I couldn't, I wasn't strong enough to, to do anything. I couldn't cope. We have a challenge of an ageing society. The traditional way of moving through the NHS, which is you go to your GP, you go to hospital if you need to, you, you get your treatment, you come home, you go back to work, uh, isn't quite so relevant for someone who's you know, grappling with five, six, seven long-term conditions. Right, so this gentleman was seen by a paramedic. Just some wound care. And, um, we decided to bring teams together health and social care, physical and mental health teams. And he is normally independent. So. They sit together in the same room, they take telephone calls. A little bit of discomfort in Whoever takes that phone call then engages the services of the rest of the team to help them solve the problem. There's lots of people that you can, um, that you can turn to and people that you can, can help you in finding the right way to, to help the patients. This way of working actually allows me to look after a greater number of patients. My heart failure specialist knowledge can be shared with the doctors here, with the therapists, the community matrons. I feel my skills are being used effectively and I can be effective because I've got the backup of other people. Integrated care is more than just a buzzword, it's really a, a way of working, it's how the NHS should operate because when you are dealing with people with long-term conditions, multiple long-term conditions, older people with frailty, uh, they can't afford the services to be disjointed. Hello Jen. Morning Becky. Hi. Yes, how are you? I'm good. Rebecca yeah. came into our lives and we haven't looked back. Hello Dennis. Hi, Becky. How are you today? Immediately, things started to improve. Uh, Dr. Dean has been here with the consultant. Just going to pop this on your finger a moment. No time limits, uh, lots more tests pushed by you know Rebecca and the team. Well and where we are now, where we finally, after all this time, have got a diagnosis. Well Dennis has pulmonary fibrosis. It can't be killed. It's just trying to find a way to manage the treatment and Rebecca and the, uh, the Herbert have arranged all that and we feel as if people care now and we're not just a number, we're a person and we've, we've got help. Honestly, um, I couldn't go back and I wouldn't go back to what we had before. I wouldn't accept going back to what we had before. Keeping your feet up? Most of the day. Most of the day. This is something that we know happens in some local areas, but that isn't good enough. It needs to happen nationally. Uh, and this is a really great chance to actually see that happen, because integrated care should be a, a universal expectation. It shouldn't be something relied on your local area alone. No, I feel quite good, actually. Good. Everyone should be able to access and have a, have a hub and a Rebecca in their lives. Mm -hmm.